The first product on our list is Great Neck N2610. The Gretneck N2610 performs nearly like a ripsaw, as it has a very aggressive cutting motion. You might leave a rough edge or two behind, but you're unlikely to run into a piece of lumber that's capable of putting up much of a fight against it for long. The price approximately $21. This product is rated with 4.7 stars from 119 customer reviews, a customer said. This is a great cross-cut saw with an aggressive tooth pattern. It starts fairly easily and really eats through the material. It feels like a quality made tool in your hand and the blade is made of thick enough sheet steel that it holds true much easier than some of the cheaper floppy hand saws I have used in the past. After testing this fairly extensively, I have absolutely no negative remarks. Great saw. Gretneck N2610 26-inch 10 TPI cross-cut hand saw, hardwood handle. Another happy customer said, This is a good saw. The set on the teeth is too much, but you can fix that by placing a hammer in a vise, put the saw teeth on the hammer face and lightly strike the teeth with another hammer. You can also run a coarse stone down both sides of the saw plate against the teeth to reduce the set. The saw is easy to re-sharpen, and you might want to do that as the saw is machine sharpened from the factory. I've used this saw for a while now and found it comfortable in my hand. After correcting the set, the saw tracks well and makes a not too rough crosscut. It's not a finish cut, but not a rough cut either. The second product is Gokucho Datsuki Takebiki. You won't want to use the Gokucho Datsuki Takebiki to slice through cords of lumber all day long, but you can't do better when it comes to making smaller cuts. Anyone attempting to build cabinets or other fine furniture should consider it. This product is available on Amazon for $45, check out the link in the YouTube description below. This product has average 4.7 stars from more than 231 customer reviews, a customer said. Like most reviewers who rave about the saw, I will admit it will become my go-to work saw, for smaller cuts. Cuts fast, easy to control, much easier than my back saw to cut tenons and the like, but the depth of cut, due to the rigid back piece, is limiting. If anything it is a bit aggressive and flexible, which can lead to cutting offline, and with the back pull motion, any markings on your wood to guide you, are quickly covered up by sawdust. You need to be careful or it's easy to get offline. But if you are careful, it's easier to stay online due to the back pull control you get compared to push forward saws. I'll probably try one of the other types of saws without the back brace and see how it works on thicker full cuts, but I will be looking one for a slightly thicker blade as this one is very thin and might not work well without the brace. Another happy customer said. Great dozuki for making rip cuts in tenons, dovetails, etc. The teeth's rip configuration makes it so much easier to saw the ripped parts in joinery than the standard crosscut pattern on most dozukas. I have one of each now and they make quick work of any joinery. Also the blade's fairly deep compared to my crosscut dozuki. So unless you're cutting tenons for big pieces of furniture it will do the job nicely. If it's not deep enough, it's great for starting a straight cut before finishing up with something larger. Tried it with a Ryoba and it kept the more flexible blade in line nicely. No regrets here. The next product is Lynx WCLH26. The Lynx WCLH26 is handmade by an experienced craftsman, ensuring it has a sturdy blade with a razor sharp edge by the time it reaches your hands. Go ahead and be rough with it, too, as the brass mounting bolts will keep everything in place. This product is available on Amazon for $140. There are 5 reviews which average rating is 4.5 stars for this product, a customer said. Excellent saw. Cuts great and comfortable handle. Another happy customer said. This is like your grandfather's saw. 
On the first drawback to the last stroke, you can feel the love that went into making this saw. Remember the old Diston saws, the awesome saws your dad and granddad had. This is that quality of saw, and best, it's new, so you can hand it down to your kids and grandkids. And you may think it's a little pricey for a handsaw, but counting in inflation, and that it's handmade, like your granddaddy's saw, not a cheapy Chinese stamping, for what you're getting, it's a bargain. I used to grab my circular saw, but since I got my flynn, the Milwaukee circular is gathering dust. Roll up your sleeves, and take a pleasurable trip into the past, where you don't need a power drop to cut wood. The next one is. Will Fix Pro. The Will Fix Pro is incredibly versatile for round the house use, whether that means trimming trees, cutting pipes, or chopping up firewood. It has deep gullets to dispose of any chips quickly, as well as sap grooves to keep things from becoming a sticky mess. This product is available on Amazon for $24, check out the link in the YouTube description below. There are 312 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.5 stars, a customer said. This is the best saw ever invented. Used it on everything from PVC pipes to trees, branches and metal rebar never fails to cut. It cuts fast and even very handy with most DIY projects and tree trimming. Another happy customer said. Great handsaw really sharp great for quick cuts not made for finish cuts but that's not what I got it for. Also used it for cutting a tree for campfire wood worked great. The next one is. Seesaw Crosscut. The Japanese style Seesaw Crosscut looks so elegant you may be loath to use it at all. You shouldn't worry about putting it to work, though, as the sharp 9.5-inch cutting edge can chew through both hard and soft woods with ease. The price approximately $35. The average rating of this product is 4.9 stars with more than 6 customer reviews, a customer said. This saw was dead sharp out of the box, and the cardboard sleeve that it comes in actually has a little snap that lets you recover the saw if you want to travel with it. While it's not a particularly expensive saw, it's nice to know that you can buy replacement blades if it ever dulls and you don't want to hand sharpen it. Another happy customer said, Wow, works great. It's light, sharp and easy to use. The next one is. Kings County Tools. This selection from Kings County Tools is extremely easy for one person to handle, as you can shorten your strokes and you won't have to deal with a bunch of excess steel wobbling at the other end. It's best suited for larger jobs where a little roughness is acceptable. This product is available on Amazon for $85, check out the link in the YouTube description below. There are 10 reviews which average rating is 4.2 stars for this product, a customer said. This saw is just what you are looking for. This is a chainsaw powered by you. Rips through wood dry or green. Cuts a nice wide curve so hardly any binding up. Sharp out of the box and ready to do work. This is not a saw to make finish cuts on a $20 1x6 this is for fast rough cutting. Another happy customer said, We were looking for a long length saw to cut ICF concrete foundation great forms for a new home we are going to build. This saw will work exactly as we wanted with a longer than standard length, the right teeth per inch ratio and a nice ergonomic feel. We have to cut hundreds of pieces and this saw will work great. An unhappy customer said, while sitting inside my house dry and put away, it developed rust spots. As much as I paid for this saw I would expect a higher quality metal. It does cut well and fast though. The next product is. Lynx 2 Man. If you're trying to fell a tree, you'll need the Lynx 2 Man, and a friend. 
Made from sturdy British steel, it lets you make long, deep strokes that will chew through heavy logs in no time. Just be sure to get out of the way before that big oak topples over. The price approximately $180. This product is rated with 4.3 stars from 13 customer reviews, a customer said. Perfect. Another happy customer said. I went to the north rim of the Grand Canyon last week. The main road was not open so we had to take a series of backcountry roads to get there. The Forest Service advised I could run into trees that had fallen across the road during the winter. We didn't encounter any trees but we tested the saw around camp. It had no problem cutting through pine tree logs up to 15 inches thick. It will work for my needs, road clearing and cutting wood for the tent stove. I got the smaller version. I made a scabbard out of two wood planks so I can strap it to my ATV rack. A good peace of mind in the backcountry. An unhappy customer said. Saw came intact but almost all screws, fasteners, washers and pieces that attach blade to handle were not included in package. Missing from package, 1x steel fitting, 1x screw, 2x steel rivet, 2x wing nut. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.